Hey, hey, hey! Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Anna. I teach cake artists how to create modern cake designs and lifelike flowers using wafer paper. And today I'm going to share another way how you can use wafer paper and create beautiful, very quick and I would say easy hydrangeas for your cake arrangements. Let's get started! And to start with making my hydrangeas, to speed up the process, I'm going to use this craft punch. You can see it has different sides of hydrangeas, but I wanted to use the largest one. So I know that I can cut through about two layers at the same time. So I'm going to measure how much wafer paper I need and fold my wafer paper in half. And then I'll start cutting through two layers of wafer paper creating my hydrangea flowers. So I'm only focusing on getting these large ones, that's why I don't worry about cutting the other sizes off. These are my hydrangea flowers and I'm going to assemble them together. So to put my hydrangeas together, I found that the easiest way to make flower heads is to use simple stamens. These are white stamens by Wilton. You can buy at any craft store and these are the most inexpensive option I found. So I'm going to take a few stamens at a time and keep this size and cut this part out like this. Now, to attach my flowers, my wafer paper flowers to stamens, I would need to create wafer paper glue. And basically for my wafer paper glue, I collect all wafer paper scraps and then using a food processor, create this wafer paper powder. When I need to make wafer paper glue, I take small amount of this wafer paper powder, add water, Mix it together until wafer paper hydrates and then I put it in the microwave in the five second increments until it becomes like this thick gel-like consistency. And this is going to be my wafer paper glue I'm going to use today to attach my flowers to stamens. Now to prepare my flowers, I'm going to take a few at a time stack them up and it doesn't matter what side you're going to use either a smooth side or bumpy side because for these flowers i'm not going to color them and i'm going to make my hydrangeas in white and i'm going to put them together and use an owl to create a hole here in the middle through my hydrangeas so i can insert my stamen so much easier. And now to assemble my flower, I'm going to take my wafer paper petal, insert this stamen piece, and use a small amount of wafer paper glue here, just at the base, to soften wafer paper a little bit, and so I can stick the stamen to my flower. And now all I need is to set it aside to dry in this position. What I found works the best if I have this cooling rack, drying rack for my cookies, and then I can set it on top of a bowl or something to prep it up and drop my hydrangea flower. So it's going to get down a little bit, soften, and I will let it dry for maybe 10, 15 minutes. So again, I'm taking my wafer paper flower, taking my stamen and pushing it through the center and apply a small amount of wafer paper glue here at the base to make the stamen stick to my wafer paper hydrangea florets. And then I'm going to place it down into my wire rack so you can see they can dry very dimensional and open. And now that I have all my flowers ready for each hydrangea head, you would need about 20 to 30 flowers. And you can see they became a little bit more dimensional because some of these flowers sunk onto a wire rug because we used wafer paper glue some of those flowers more open. So I'm going to collect all of them and assemble my hydrangea flower. 
To do that, I'm going to take 22 gauge wire because my hydrangeas are very lightweight. And I'm going to use white floral tape, but I'm going to cut it in half like this. And now all I need to do is to stretch my floral tape, start taping my wire and start attaching my wafer paper hydrangeas to my wire. And you can see how quick and easy our hydrangea heads are coming together. And I'm going to go down a little bit with my floral tape and add more flowers to create a rounder hydrangea arrangement. So this is going to be my base. And then I will add another piece of floral tape and add more flowers to continue building my hydrangea. So I'm going to tape my stem down, making sure all the flowers are going to stay in place. And I will play around and move my flowers a little bit, creating more open and fuller look for my hydrangeas. But you can see how easy to make this hydrangea heads using just wafer paper. And the beauty about using wafer paper, you can see it took us maybe 15, 20 minutes to create the full arrangement. And you can add more, you can arrange a few hydrangea heads together to get a fuller look. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this tutorial. If you did, Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tutorials about working with wafer paper and creating modern cake designs. My name is Anna and I'll see you in another tutorial. Bye-bye!